Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video. I'm so excited that you are here. Today, we are gonna keep talking about our friend Paul, and we are gonna learn about how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm so excited. Before I say anything else, I'm gonna send it to Marky and Luna, and I'll see you later. Hey guys, last week we talked about an awesome story. Marky, do you remember our story from last week? I do, but I might need some help remembering a few things. Maybe you guys, and also you, Luna, can help me remember. Sure thing. Do you remember who our story was about, Marky? Do you guys remember? Yeah, I remember. We talked about Paul. He was given the gift of grace and was filled with the Holy Spirit. That's right. The gift of grace is when God gives us all his love and power and strength, even though we didn't do anything to earn it. I remember that Paul really didn't deserve it. He was so mean, but God loved him anyway and didn't want to leave him that way. That's right. God's grace set him free. Let's all sing together. Are you guys ready? God's grace sets me free. Okay, let's say it really quiet. God's grace sets me free. Now, let's say it really loud. God's grace sets me free. Oh boy, I just love that chant. Maybe as much as I love candy. Wow, Luna, you really love candy. I really do. Anyway, let's keep talking about our story. Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit. Hmm, what does that mean? I'm not really sure, but I bet Valley would know. Let's call her together. Valley! Hmm, where is she? Can you guys help us? Let's call Valley. Ready? One, two, three. Valley! Hey guys, I heard you calling for me. I'm so happy you heard us calling for you. I have a question for you. Hmm, what's your question? Well, last week in the story, Paul was given the gift of grace. Yeah. And he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Luna and I were wondering, what does it mean to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Whoa, Marky, that's an awesome question. But first, where's Luna? Oh, she had to go home to get something, but she'll be back. Okay. Well, you and you guys can fill her in later. But first of all, Marky, do you know who the Holy Spirit is? Do you guys know who the Holy Spirit is? Well, I think I do, but I'm not totally sure. Can you tell me? The Holy Spirit is God. God is three in one. You have God the Father, God the Son, who's Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. One God and three persons. It's like when you think you're gonna get one friend, but you actually get three really awesome best friends. Does that make any sense? Oh, yeah, I think I get it. Do you guys get it? Another way to remember is to use our hands. Everybody hold your hands up. Everybody open your hands really fast. And everyone freeze. Everyone wiggle your fingers really slow and freeze. Now let's hold up one hand and wave. Can you guys make an I love you hand? This means I love you in sign language. See how I have one hand and three fingers? This can help us remember God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three parts on one hand. And we can remember that God loves you. I love you. Wow, I'm getting it. Hey, let's go find Luna and tell her about all this awesome stuff. Great idea. Then maybe we can find Miss Lindsay and she can finish answering your question. Are you ready to call Miss Lindsay? Are you ready to call Miss Lindsay Markey? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Miss Lindsay! Miss Lindsay! Hi, Hi guys. guys! Sorry, I had to get some candy. No worries. But I'm back now. Markey told me about how there's one God and three separate but equal persons. Yeah. And how the Holy Spirit is God. That's right. But I'm still wondering, what does it mean to be filled with the Holy Spirit? That is a great question. Can you think of anything that gets filled? Hmm. Well, you can fill a bathtub with water. Mm-hmm. And you can fill a room with people. 
Those are great. You can also fill a glass with water like this. See how the glass is now filled up? I do. When we accept Jesus' free gift of grace, we can be filled with God, the Holy Spirit, just like that glass was filled with water. Wow! He wants to live in our hearts and fill us up with his Holy Spirit? Yeah, he does. Just like Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit because of God's free gift of grace, you can be filled with the Holy Spirit too. What happens when you're filled with the Holy Spirit? When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you have God's love and power living inside of you. The Bible actually tells us that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives inside of us. That's amazing! I wanna to pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's wonderful. Would you like to also pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Do you know what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit or what happens when you're filled with the Holy Spirit? It means that you have the power of God living inside of you. Sometimes after people pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit, they pray in a different language. They can lay hands on people and pray for healing and people will be healed. And oftentimes we're filled with great joy. Can everyone put their hand on their heart? And let's pray that we would be filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we thank you for your free gift of grace. We thank you that you sent your son so that we could be raised from the dead with the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. I pray right now for us and for my friends at home that they would be filled and baptized in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wow, thank you God. The Holy Spirit's even better than candy. I feel the joy of the Lord. I think I need to have dance party. Hey guys, I'm back. So Luna and Miss Lindsay told me that you guys prayed to be filled with the Holy Spirit, just like Paul in our story. One of my favorite things is to ask the Holy Spirit to fill me up. Yeah, Luna told me about it too. And I prayed and asked the Holy Spirit to fill me up. Wow, Marky, that's incredible. Then I joined her dance party. Woo, 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 woo. The Holy Spirit definitely makes me want to dance too. He's so good. When the Holy Spirit fills our hearts, we are filled with God's love and power. Next week, we are going to look at Paul's life and see what happened after he got filled with the Holy Spirit. If we get filled with love and power when the Holy Spirit fills us up, you know some wild things are going to happen. It has been so wonderful learning with you all about the free gift of grace and the power of the Holy Spirit. Families, I would love it if you would continue to talk about how powerful it is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I pray that you would have encounters with the Holy Spirit this week. We love you and we're so glad you joined us and we'll see you next week. Bye.